Well, good morning, everybody. That huge uh, coffee cup. Size of my head. <laughs> uh, I'm easily entertained lately. Uh, it is March 20th, 2020, of this uh, little coronavirus lockdown. If you can barely hear me, it's because my two parents are watching uh, the news, which has been on nonstop for like the last two weeks. Um, it's not really healthy for your brains, by the way. Don't watch news all the time, because... I sound like an idiot right now. It's morning. It's my morning coffee. I just went to class, so I'm a little, I'm a little uh, brain dead right now. But yeah, just don't watch the news all day, okay? Everybody's stuck in their houses. That's basically all they can report about until there's either a cure or we all die. Uh, <laughs> anyways, I'm doing this because I'm bored, and I think it's going to be cool to do a little video diary every day. I made my students do a little video diary of their own. So, in an effort to uh, practice what you preach, I am doing this, and maybe I'll give a few uh, recommendations of what to do with your spare time, what I'm doing with my spare time, how my parents are doing, and uh, how everything here in Mexico is. So, a uh, few starting points. Uh, oh yeah, Russell's here. Good old Russell's back. I had him upstairs in quarantine. He already died because of uh, one plague, or one asteroid, I didn't want him to die of other things. But anyways, what have I been doing? Uh, one, yes, uh, I've been doing a lot of writing. I am a screenwriter, and uh, this has actually been a very optimal moment to be a screenwriter in some way, shape, or form. The business took a huge kick in the nuts, uh, which most businesses did, but it's very obvious why the uh, film biz kind of basically went into lockdown too so there's nothing much you can do outside of just to keep writing so it's a good chance to polish any old ideas you had or to just uh, start up with the old ones new ones I'm sorry so if you fancy yourself a writer this is a great time to do that because uh, you're basically obligated there's no more excuses to not be a writer you're literally stuck with basically only your housemates and your computer, so why not do something productive? So I've been doing a lot of writing, uh, had a couple of new ideas for maybe a web series. Also, uh, there's a couple of scripts I have, I have been meaning to finish, so hopefully I'll be finishing by the end of this week. Weekend. Uh, other things, well obviously I've been watching a lot of TV, a lot of Netflix, a lot of computer, YouTube stuff. Uh, excited, Brooklyn Nine-Nine here in Mexico is coming out this Sunday, season six. I'm very happy about that. Uh, what else can I say? Oh, watch Castlevania season three. Well, watch all the Castlevanias on Netflix if you haven't. Uh, forewarned, it is animation, but it is a very hard R animation. Think Game of Thrones level hard R. Uh, but it's a great, really well-made, compelling story. By far the best video game adaptation to TV or film in history. Like, ever. It was a low bar to begin with, but uh, it really did a great job with it. I'm very happy with its outcome. And season three certainly leaves you with a, a WTF, I have to wait another year and a half for this to come out thing, so that's pretty depressing. Uh, what's another thing would be good for you to watch? Oh, uh, watch this uh, documentary series on uh, Netflix called 100 People. I think that's what it's called. It's fantastic. They do these, uh, these like, tests on, uh, on different subjects, like uh, uh, men and women, you know, like, uh, what things uh, they, they, uh, they can do better than the other. Uh, they do, uh, what's another one that was really great? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, depending on what age uh, demographic you are, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, which ones are the most functional. Uh, what's another one they did? They did one about uh, romance, about couples. It's really cool because they show you how everybody has like, or how how bigoted you are, or how uh, biased you are in certain situations. That one was actually a very powerful episode. Uh, check it out. It's really worth your time. 
Uh, what's another one I think would be pretty much... Oh, there's a bunch of studio... Oh, no, that's only happening here in Mexico. Uh, they're releasing every month a, a number of Studio Ghibli uh, films, so that's fantastic. My personal favorites are Nausicaa, Valley of the Wind, Princess Mononoke, uh, The Wind Rises. I think it's fantastic. Even though it's not Studio Ghibli, I would recommend you watch... Uh, it was Miyazaki's first film, and it uses my favorite character, which is uh, Lupin the Third. Uh, and it's Castle of Cagliostro. As well in Ghibli, Castle in the Sky is my uh, also one of my favorites. Howl's Moving Castle, not a big fan. I think it's a great movie, but it's not one of my favorites. It's one of my lower tier Ghibli films, so give it a chance. Also, if you're not into anime, I highly suggest a good gateway drug for this would be probably Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's on Netflix, please check it out. Also on Amazon Prime, check out Vinland Saga. If you're pissed off, you can't watch any more Vikings, watch Vinland Saga. It's basically animated Vikings. Uh, it's fantastic, it's a really good show. Also, uh, they have uh, Blade of the Immortal, which is a fantastic, fantastic uh, uh, manga. The anime translation of it is, yeah, yeah, but it's still pretty good. I, uh, I'd give it a shot. Very bizarre storytelling. Uh, outside of that, what else can I tell you? Oh, been reading. Been doing this old boy. HP Lovecraft Tales of Horror. I got this at Costco about a year ago for about 15 bucks. I'm a huge cosmic horror fan, and I've been just notching down the ones I've been reading so far. I had actually had a pretty decent, uh, like I've been reading more. I did a bunch of uh, short stories already, but uh, I recently finished a couple. I finally finished reading, uh, which one was it? Uh, the Mountains of Madness, right there. I'm checking out the ones. I'm the guy that writes on his books, yes, I'm that guy. Mountains of Madness, fantastic. I, I hadn't read in a while, and it's such a good story. By the way, you can find the script for Guillermo del Toro's uh, Version that they were gonna make a film version of it with Tom Cruise was attached to it and uh, uh, It was pretty damn good uh, well, Read the script. It's out there. So check that out uh, Dagon read that one really good uh, The festival was uh, it's, it's short, but it's a surprisingly cool one. See it sounds like a very interesting fever dream uh, 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 Color out of space. There's a film now because uh, with, uh, What's his face uh, Nicholas Cage? And da, 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 da. the temple. The temple is a very interesting one. I'm surprised they haven't made that a film yet. It's about a guy stuck in a submarine, and as he's losing oxygen, he's like the only one left in it. He decides to go out on one last expedition, and he finds like this ancient city under the ocean, and it's uh, and he finds something in there. It's really cool. Uh, oh yeah, been drawing a lot lately again too. So trying to keep busy. Here's a couple of a. Uh, things I've been doing. I did one about one of my film ideas, because uh, I've always thought it was interesting that you always see alien invasion things happening here, but what would happen if they did like an alien invasion on a fantasy world, like on a fantasy planet, Lord of the Rings or Game of Thrones? Uh, I can't show you all of them, because a lot of them are actually film ideas. I'm getting a little abstract too. It's a little showing you what happens when you're confined. Well, I did this actually before the quarantine, so I can't really adjudicate that to me. Oh, great manga. Please check it out. Uh, it's Chainsaw Man. You can find it in Mangaka Lot. It's a fantastic manga. And if you ever thought that you can't make a story about a guy with a chainsaw for a head, you're sorely wrong. Oh. Hollow Knight, one of my favorite side-scrolling video games of the last decade. If you like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you will love Hollow Knight. It's fantastic. I did this one actually two days ago. I'm not finished with it. But I was just starting, you know, when you're just musing, when you're, when you're just doodling. I said, well, let's see where it goes. So I made this weird cop mustache uh, wizard with a huge book. I'm not finished with it. I put a binary code there for some reason. He's got vampire wings. He's wearing like one of those uh, beanies that looks like a saber-toothed tiger. He has arrows for eyebrows. 
And, uh, uh, yeah, that's about it. He has a huge uh, like Game of Thrones wool shoulder. Anyways, that's about it. Oh, come on, Russell. Uh, oh, uh, one of my dogs, uh, Mandy, one of the newer uh, babies in our uh, family. We have three dogs now and a cat. Uh, Mandy had gotten severely ill at the, around Tuesday or Wednesday. We had to take her to the vet. I've been taking her to the vet every day. Luckily, the vet services are still functioning here in Aguascalientes. And uh, first vet, that's actually what, something that pissed me off. I took her to the university first, and they did like a very light check on her. And he said that all, the only thing she has is gas. So, because she wasn't eating, she was very lethargic. So she just has gas. Give her this, these uh, anti-acid uh, medications or something like that. And, and she, by next day, she was still vomiting. She was still uh, pooping. She was still, uh, I mean, having diarrhea and not eating. And uh, so I was like, screw this. There's this great vet here. I always like don't want to go there for some reason, but he always ends up being the guy that actually helps out my animals. I went to La Chiripa, this... Uh, uh, animal product store here and he checks her and he says no 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 she has a respiratory infection the thing is when dogs get sick everything gets sick so he gave her a couple of antibiotics and sent me home with a couple of injections for her and uh, she hadn't eaten for two days I was really worried about that she was still drinking water um, and um, luckily yesterday she actually started eating I got her some wet food pedigree wet food and uh, she didn't throw it up this time. I was really happy about that. And she went out for a walk. And this morning, I took her out from the room, and she peed. And she uh, and she started playing with the other dogs. Not like she usually does, because she's a cyclone. She's like a mix of a Doberman and a German Shepherd. But she stunted. She I think she wasn't well fed when she was a puppy. She got here. We found her in our backyard about three or four months ago. And uh, I think she was very malnourished when she was little, so she was kind of stunted because I took her to the vet. She says she's great, but she should be like yay big now because she's got Doberman and German Shepherd blood in her. Uh, but she's doing better today. Today is her uh, final dose of injection. And uh, yeah, this is going on a lot. I'm not sure anybody's going to really watch 13 minutes of me rambling. So today the plan is I have a meeting, uh, online meeting, don't worry, uh, with my associate in Canada about certain things we're doing for our projects, uh, screenwriting wise. Also, um, we're still pretty good on, uh, Mexico is not in full panic mode. Yes, we are in panic mode, sort of. We are all basically stuck in our houses now. I'm working from home. Uh, giving virtual classes, uh, but we're doing pretty good on uh, supplies. Everything's great in supplies. I live with two people over the age of 70, so as it comes to supplies, we always have like two months worth of anything here. So we are already kind of already prepared. Uh, the only thing we're actually kind of panicking about is that we are low on vodka. So we're gonna have to see how we can figure that one out. Uh, so yeah, that's about it on that one. But today, I'm gonna do that meeting. I'm gonna do some writing. Also, I'm gonna start playing some of my older video games. Doom Eternal came out today, so I'm gonna see if I can find a place where I could scrape some money out to get Doom. I shouldn't get Doom Eternal. If I get Doom Eternal, I'm not gonna work. But I was also thinking of uh, re-downloading Magic: The Gathering Arena and League of Legends. Which is a bad idea because those things will suck your time out. Those are time vampires like I've never seen. Anyways, rambled on. Uh, if you're watching this, thanks for watching. It's just me trying to kill some boredom. Uh, stay safe wherever you are in the world. Yeah, it's a, it's a dangerous time right now. So um, maybe in other videos, I'll give more of my opinion about these things. But I think everybody's got a little exhausted about everybody, everybody's opinions or observations about this whole thing. So I'm just talking about my life. Uh, hopefully Mandy will be great by the end of the day. She seems pretty good right now. She's playing with the other dogs. Uh, anyways, uh, I am off to do some uh, 
chores around the house and uh, maybe get dressed. So take care, everybody. I'll give more uh, recommendations about Netflix and stuff uh, tomorrow. So take care. Tony out. Russell out. But coffee out. Disinfect your cell phone out. Uh, all right. Bye-bye.